Welcome to Tesla Global, the home the latest and greatest Tesla news. Today we take a look at Tesla's yoke under fire again, shows little benefit in new dismissive review and also we look at Tesla unofficially tops JD Power's appeal study once again. If you would like to support the channel press the join button next to the subscribe button to find out about exclusive benefits. Without hesitation let's get into the video. Tesla's yoke under fire again, shows little benefit in new dismissive review. The Tesla Model S yoke steering wheel has not won over the writers at Consumer Reports, but then again, what a Tesla has? In another dismissive review of the yoke, CR's Keith Berry stated that the new Tesla will shows little benefit and has potential safety pitfalls. Following this scathing review of the Model S plaid last week from Edmunds, controversy surrounded the yoke. Interestingly enough, Edmunds reviewers couldn't keep smiles from their faces while driving the Plaid Model S, but the yoke was considered a joke by their reviewers, and CR hasn't veered far away from that narrative in their new review of the steering wheel. After complaining about achy hands, Barry details Tesla's decision to axe the full-sized steering wheel for the yoke. Tesla swapped the tried-and-true round steering wheel for a flat-bottomed, rectangular yoke reminiscent of what pilots use to steer an airplane. A traditional circular steering wheel is no longer available on the Model S nor on the mechanically related Model X SUV, even as an option, he writes. CEO Elon Musk recently stated that the full wool was ditched by Tesla because it was boring and blocks the massive center touchscreen. However, Barry's review detailed issues with turns, control, and functionality, stating that normal maneuvers to the left or the right were difficult due to the lack of real estate to grab onto. Add in a slippery feel to the wheel and a non-existent turn signal stock, and it stumped the reviewer, even though vehicles are his expertise. Additionally, the yoke, which was used to set the track record at the Nürburgring in Germany last week, could provide some issues in an emergency situation, according to Jake Fisher, senior director of CR's Auto Test Center. I am concerned if I would be able to control the vehicle well in an emergency situation, Fisher said. Interestingly, many users of the yoke have not complained about the newly designed wheel. Not only is the yoke now preferred by Tesla as the manufacturer, but it is also completely street legal, and the NHTSA told Teslarati earlier this year that it was up to Tesla whether or not it should be included. Discretion comes down to the automaker in these instances, and the yoke seems to be the ideal option with where Tesla appears to be headed with autonomy and overall aesthetics. It's tough to take a CR review with much credibility when it comes to Tesla, especially as the agency only performed advanced driver assistance system trick tests on Teslas earlier this year. A later study showed that other auto systems could be tricked with the right materials and accessories. Nevertheless, reviews are opinionated, and CR is undoubtedly entitled to write whatever they wish about the yoke. However, before making a dead set conclusion on the yoke steering wheel, be sure to try it for yourself and let us know what you think. Tesla unofficially tops JD Power's appeal study once again. Tesla has unofficially topped JD Power's appeal study, which tests how an owner emotionally connects with their new car. It is the 26th time JD Power has performed the appeal study, and the second straight year, Tesla took the top prize, unofficially. Appeal stands for Automotive Performance, Execution, and Layout, and ranks how owners feel after 90 days of ownership. Emotionally connecting to a vehicle occurs when a buyer genuinely is enthusiastic about their purchase, and once again, Tesla managed to provide that most frequently. One of the biggest factors driving the industry's improvement this year is the introduction of several highly appealing new models, JD Power Director of Global Automotive David Amadeo said. The appeal study measures owners' emotional attachment to their new vehicle, and the product launches that took place this model year have done a really good job. Some are all new, and some are redesigns, but the new launches demonstrate that automakers are getting even better at hitting buyers' emotional triggers. Tesla scored three fewer points than last year with 893. The highest possible score is 1,000 points based on owner responses. JD Power wrote that Tesla's unofficial score was the highest in the study. The score is technically unofficially because Tesla does not grant JD Power permission to survey its owners in the 15 states where permission is required. Tesla's score was calculated based on sample surveys from owners in the other 35 states. JD Power wrote, Tesla receives an appeal index score of 893, which is three points lower than last year. The automaker is not officially ranked among other brands in the study as it doesn't meet ranking criteria. Unlike other manufacturers. Behind Tesla was Porsche with a score of 882, Genesis and Land Rover with scores of 879, and Lincoln with a score of 876. Mass market brands were led by Dodge, 882, Ram, 881, and Nissan, 866. 
In February, Tesla placed 30th out of 33 manufacturers in a JD Power Vehicle Dependability Survey, which tracked 177 specific problems in eight different categories. The survey showed Tesla had 176 issues per 100 vehicles. Once again, Tesla did not permit JD Power to perform the survey directly to its owners, but enough data was given through independent sources to give the company a qualifying score. Interestingly, the claimed issues from the vehicle dependability survey do not align with the appeal study, as Tesla has once again topped the list. Tesla to work with global regulators on data security must. Electric vehicle maker Tesla Inc. TSLA. Oh, will work with global regulators to ensure data security, Chief Executive Elon Musk told an industry event in China on Friday. Tesla, which assembles vehicles for the Chinese market in Shanghai, has been under scrutiny in China this year over its storage and handling of customer data. Cars are being fitted with an ever-increasing array of sensors and cameras to assist drivers but the data such equipment generates has also raised questions about privacy and security. With the rapid growth of autonomous driving technologies, data security of vehicles is drawing more public concerns than ever before, Musk told the World New Energy Vehicle Congress on the southern Chinese island of Hainan via video link. In May, Reuters reported that staff at some Chinese government offices had been told not to park their Tesla cars inside government compounds due to security concerns over vehicle cameras. Tesla sets up China's site to store car data locally. U.S. electric vehicle maker Tesla Inc. TSLA. Oh, said on Tuesday it had established a site in China to store car data locally, as automakers come under growing scrutiny over how they handle information collected by vehicle cameras and sensors. Tesla said in a Weibo post that data generated by all cars it sells in China, where it is making Model 3 sedans and Model Y sport utility vehicles, would be stored in the country. Tesla added it would expand its data center network in China. The company's shares were last down 0.7%. China, the world's biggest car market and the second largest for Tesla, is drafting rules to ensure the security of data generated by connected vehicles as their growing popularity fuels concerns about privacy and national security. Staff at some Chinese government offices have been told not to park their Tesla cars inside government compounds due to security concerns over vehicle cameras, two people with knowledge of the matter told Reuters last week. Read more. Last week, Tesla Vice President Grace Tao, along with executives at Baidu Inc., 9888.hk, and Alibaba, 9988.hk, attended a policy discussion held by a Chinese think tank on data security. Tesla is developing a platform for car owners in China that will allow them to access data generated by their vehicles. It is also boosting its engagement with mainland regulators and beefing up its government relations team, sources told Reuters. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you are new to the channel then why not subscribe? Thanks for watching.